What's up, YouTube? It's All About Music here. Going to talk about uh, R.E.M.'s next album, Fables of the Reconstruction. Um, was released in 1985. Though you know their first couple of albums, they just did right back to back, and they were on tour for pretty much the first 10 years they were around. Um, so this album is a lot darker than their first three releases, including the Chronic Town EP. They just, they take a way darker tone, way more menacing tone in this album, and it, it retains that kind of jangle pop sound, but not so much. It's very, very dark. So, um, originality, uh, 10. I, I'm probably going to give that rating to most of R.E.M.'s albums up until around Monster. Um, then it starts to get a little murky. I mean, they, they really just, they're not like any other band, and they cha they keep on challenging themselves, especially with this one. This is their first kind of changed in sound, um, even though it is interchangeable with their with their other stuff. So, originality gets a 10. I like this album, but I'm more focused on certain songs in the album rather than the album as a package. Um, the one playing right now, Feeling Gravity's Pull, being one of them. Uh, so... I, I give this album a 7.5 for how much I like the music, and that is actually a good score. I just want to get that across. Um, it's not saying that this album is bad or that I don't like it. Um, it's just I, I appreciate it more for certain songs at, rather than the whole package put together. Um, production, great. Um, it's a little more murky. It's it, Because it doesn't have the jangle pop kind of sound to it, um, <laughs> um, it doesn't... It, it, uh, Wow, that totally threw me off. Because it doesn't have that jangle pop sound to it, it's a, and it's darker and and more you know more menacing. It it it, it loses it get it gains a certain murkiness to to the uh, the feeling of the album. But that's not a production issue. So production gets a ten. Um, the flow gets an eight point five because for me I appreciate the album for certain songs. Um, it. It's hard for me to get into the the feel of the album as a whole, um, so the flow for me is 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 decreased by that by the fact that I appreciate it for certain songs. So um, flow gets an 8.5, and I just realized that I didn't compute this. Oh yeah, I did. Um, overall, the album gets a nine, nine out of ten. So I mean, still <laughs> really good score. Um, the best song on here. For me, my favorite song on here is Green Grow the Rushes, and that's one of the songs that I that I heard first on uh, a, a Greatest Hits import, and I, I just love, I love the riff. It's, it's a really soothing, laid-back kind of song. Um, it's actually a lot different from the, I, th I think, from the, the rest of the mood that's, that's set on, on Fables. I, I, just, I just really, really enjoy that song. The worst song on here is, it's really actually hard kind of to pick because this doesn't really have a worst song, really. Um, but the, the song that I don't appreciate, that I appreciate the least, has got to be Wendell G. It's got too much of the twang sound in it. Um, when I was talking about my reckoning, when I, in my reckoning video, I was talking about Don't Go Back to Rockville having that twang sound. And Wendell G has that. Um, not to the extreme of uh, Don't Go Back to Rockville, but it's still there. And I, appre I, like, I actually do like that song, but, you know, having to pick a worst one, that would definitely be it. Um, so I would definitely recommend this album. Uh, it is a darker R.E.M. album. I'm not sure if I would recommend newcomers to the band to purchase it. I would go with some of their earlier stuff. Though this, th this album really sets a tone because they start to incorporate darker music into their albums from, from this point on. So, I mean, that's a common theme. So yeah, I, I would say I would say it's a you know it's a it's a must have definitely, um, and I would go and I would definitely go and buy it if you're trying to get into the band. Um, so yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. And as as always, leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you thought, um, what you like, what you didn't like. If there's a certain album that you'd like me to review, you know, feel free to shoot me a PM or leave a comment, and I'll be happy to get around to it. And uh, subscribe, rate. Um, I love getting feedback, and I haven't really been getting a lot of that, so please, please do that, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.